I don't really care what people say. I don't really care what them wa do. Still, I got to play meaningful on dictionary.com cause it's cool. This is a terrible accent. Sounds nothing like Caribbean. You'd think I'd be better at a Caribbean accent because I've been around a lot of people from the Caribbean for quite some time. My whole school was filled in undergrad. Lots of students from the Caribbean. Not only from Jamaica, the Dominican Republic, uh, Haiti, Puerto Rico. I mean, obviously, they have a completely different accent in Puerto Rico and, uh, and Haiti and the Dominican Republic than Jamaica. Uh, one of my best friends was from St. Uh, was he from St. Vincent? No. St. Lucia. One of the Virgin Islands. <laughs> I'm terrible. I'm a bad person. Although he did not have such a thick accent. He barely had an accent. He could speak with one when he wanted to. Oh, well, this is meaningful. And uh, let's scroll down here. It says, help the warrior cross the watery caverns. Read the word definitions and guess the words that are hidden behind the clouds. Bonus points for getting letter streaks. And I noticed on the last video that it's cutting off the first letter of each sentence. Oh. And then there it just basically repeats. Play the iPhone version. He's much better. Red B. Uh, what was it? Red, red stripe. The beer in the ugly bottle. Yay beer! No, I don't drink beer, so I'm not going to yay beer. Hint: a movable barrier, usually on hinges. Using the keyboard, type the word that you think is hidden behind the clouds. I'm going to type, but I'm going to type a little bit. What the heck? W D E H. That's that's not a word, buddy. And I'm pretty sure that that's not the answer. All right, so the answer here, the answer be door. It's not door. Usually on hinges. A movable barrier, usually on hinges. A door. Ah, whoa, hey, what was that? A gate. That was a bad one. I accidentally hit a bunch of keys and I died. The usually round red or yellow edible fruit of a small tree. App oh wait, red yeah, apple. I'm gonna stop doing that. This ra <laughs> this accent borders on racist. Stop doing it. A series of names or other items written or printed together in a meaningful grouping or sequence. A list. Yay list. Stop doing it. It's so t even to my own ears it sounds terrible. The broadcasting of a still or moving image via radio waves. Television. Oop, I already used that. Hey, you know what's cool? Uh, if I type like I S V E L, it doesn't try and do it again. So I, oh, see there, I accidentally hit the H button. That was bad. To be under the necessity to need to have no, not have, must. Yes. Oh, why did I pick a Caribbean accent that I'm no good at? Not covered or closed. There is a definite delay between one letter and the next. It's like approaching a second. A court order in a particular case. A writ. No, a rule. A rule. Court rule. That was a clue in a crossword puzzle earlier that I didn't figure out. Freedom from difficulty or great effort. Ease. What is it, man? That's uh, Ren from Ren and Sippy. What is it, man? An infant or very young child. Babe. Sweet. Not babe. Baby. Man, some of these are kind of weird. I mean, babe, baby, they're both the same. Any such living thing other than a human being. Uh, I have some issues with this. There are plenty of living things that aren't animals. Any of various other units of distance or length of different periods and in different countries. Wow, that was the worst yet. Any um, any of various other units of distance or length. Foot. Yard. Units. Mile. Oh, that was worse. That was bad. To communicate or exchange ideas, information, etc. by speaking. Talk. Like what I'm doing right now. Oh, I was supposed to talk about stuff. Of a pair, not matching. One. No. Of a pair, not matching. Hello. Of a pair, not matching. 
Odd. Wow, just barely got that. So, um, to multiply or increase at a rapid rate. Not divide. To multiply or increase at a rapid rate. Well, let's get... No? Hmm. Let's see. I don't know what this might be. T? No. R? No. S? No. And that's game over. Oh, and it didn't tell me the answer. Or if it does tell me the answer, it's behind here and I can't see. All right, I will play that once again because that was terrible, terrible damage. And I owe you more than five minutes worth of terrible video. For the record, this is a terrible game. To cause to move around on an axis or about a center. Spin, not spin. To cause to move around an axis or about a center. Uh, not O, not E, U. I, I'm at a loss. T. Tug? No. To cause to move around an axis or about a center. Turn. Wow. Yeah, this is uh, not just the game's fault. This is my fault. To dwell or reside. Live? Yes. All right. School. I My rotation change went through. It went through on Monday, but I didn't say it on Monday. In or at what place? Where? Yes, okay. Uh, so I will not have to drive from Arizona to Erie to Texas. At any place of confinement or involuntary restraint? Prison. Yes, prison? Yes, prison. Oh my gosh, how many times do I have to hit the button before it works? So uh, I'll go from Arizona to New Mexico. The organ of sight. The oculos. Oh, I, actually, <laughs> I actually hit the O button. Um... A slight, sharp sound. No. Yes. No. 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 Click! <sighs> now I'm not even paying attention. A room or place equipped for cooking. A kitchen. Uh, and according to the website that we have for fi uh, putting together our rotation schedules, there should be free housing available at the uh, site. An affirmative reply. Could have been I, but it's yes. Uh, available at the New Mexico site. To bet on. Risk? No. To bet on. I don't know. E, I, A. To bet on. Place a bet. Wager. Not wager. Uh, R. No, I already did an R. L. Back. Back makes sense. Not solid or liquid. Plasma, which is both solid and liquid, kind of. Involving much bloodshed and violence. Uh, rage? No, but <laughs> I have a letter. E, O, U, oh, jeez. Involving much blood, gore. Is it gore or gore E? Oh, it's gotta be gory because the E is no longer available. Uh, what else do we do? The opening through which an animal or human takes in food. Mouth. Tomorrow at school... Well, today I just had my first advanced compounding class where we learned how to use a torsion balance at the present time or moment. Now! Which is... It was literally just a repeat of the lesson from our basic compounding class. Conclusive or decisive? I want vowels, because I don't know. Conclusive... Or decisive. T L final. All right, we're getting some of these. Have I? I've almost meet my, met my best score. A mixture of nitrogen, oxygen, and minute amounts of other gases that surrounds the Earth. I'm sorry. A mixture of nitrogen, oxygen, and minute amounts of other gases. Wow, I turned a uh, weird, weird voice. That surrounds the Earth and forms its atmosphere. There you go. I'm never going to do that voice again in my life. Having a relatively low temperature. Having little or no warmth. Cold. Cold. But uh, we are going to do some real fun stuff in uh, compounding. A burning massive material, as on a hearth or in a furnace. A fire? Yes. 
And uh, one, we do have to do a group presentation in that class. We have to do a group project in my patient safety and medication errors class to manage or guide by advice, helpful information, instruction, etc. Teach, mentor, no. Jeez Louise. Can, all right. To manage or guide by advice, helpful information, instruction, or etc. Ooh, geez, direct. Sweet. And uh, my law class has like a bunch of homework to do too. It's a terrible, terrible time to go to school. A body so suspended from a fixed point as to move to and fro by the action of gravity and acquired momentum. Pendulate. Pendulum. Oh, a body. I need to learn how to read English. The, pro the producer of an effect. The actor. The cause. All right. You don't usually think of cause as the producer, but I suppose it is. A word or a combination of words by which a person, place, or thing is called or known. A that was me hitting the wrong button on the keyboard. A nombre. Uh, fun. And there's some interesting things going on on the legislative side, too. A form of the possessive case of. There. Oh, sweet. I guessed it. Um... In Arizona, just now, the Arizona State Senate introduced a bill to have established or fixed in the mind or memory. No? Yes. Uh, a bill to allow pharmacists to administer uh, flu shots to children without a prescription, children 6 to 17. No thing, not anything, not. All right, I'm going to need some letters. No. <laughs> Really? No thing. No thing. That's not even funny. To occupy to the full capacity. Fill or full? Fill. Um, and to allow them to immunize children between 6 and 17 for anything else with a prescription before all others or anything else in time order ranked first. As well as to allow pharmacy students, uh, pharmacy interns to, who are licensed to immunize, to immunize the waves. Uh, wet? No. Web? Ebb? Ob? Herb? The waves. Se the waves. Seb, sex, em, said, said, sir, so, so, no. What, what was the answer? Tell me the answer. I don't know. Oh, well. We're going to end this here. Uh, but I'll go ahead and just give a quick update on the rest of that. So they introduced that bill. The student president of our APHA chapter at school has introduced uh, at a Pennsylvania Pharmacists Association meeting back in, I think, October or something, introduced a motion for the PPA to uh, act, what's the word I want, uh, to push for the exact same thing in Pennsylvania. Of course, independently, she had no clue what was going on in Arizona. So in Pennsylvania now, they're working to get a bill into committee or out of committee or something like that for the exact same thing, the ability to Im immunize children and for student pharmacists to immunize as well. And then on a national level, they have the National Healthcare Service Corps, which is basically a federal uh, program where they get healthcare providers and others to uh, do healthcare in underserved communities. And to attract people to this, what they have is after you work like two years, they'll give $60,000 to pay off your student loans. So you get paid for working, and then you also get that, that bonus. If you work like five years, it's $170,000 towards your student loans. And if you work for six or more years, they pay off your full student loans. And uh, they, there's probably some sort of issue about what qualifies as a student loan or what have you. But um, they allow doctors, MDs and DOs, nurses, psychiatrists, dentists, um, dental hygienists, which are the people who go to school, to learn how to basically be like dental assistants, um, midwives, but not pharmacists. And so there's a national bill 
to add pharmacists to that program. And I actually wrote both of my senators from Arizona, as well as both of the senators from Pennsylvania, to ask them to support the bill. And I'm about to write uh, my state legislators in Arizona to support the bill in Arizona to allow us to do immunizations. Uh, tomorrow I have to get up and go to school early because I have career day. And that is why I'm going to end this video here because I'm going to spend three hours listening to people tell me about pharmacy careers, which on the one hand is cool, but on the other hand, I got to get up early to do it, and that's not so cool. So, bye-bye. I'm sorry. So, Mr. Gusolen, bye-bye. What'd you say? He said bye-bye. Where you go? I go bye-bye. That was terrible. Bye-bye.